<laughs> you're not really ready until you're safe. Summer safely and drive calm. It's the KSL Home Show, sponsored by Osmond Designs. If you like talking about Utah homes and real estate, then this is the place on KSL News Radio. Welcome back into the Home Show today. Thank you for joining us. Spring is in the air. It's so exciting to have the weather warm up a little bit. It's uh, going to be first spring in Utah, right? Where we get this little teaser, and then next week it'll snow probably. So just hang on. You're on the roller coaster of spring in Utah. I'm joined, of course, by Heather Osmond of Osmond Design. Heather, as the seasons change and people are still looking to renovate and redecorate their homes there are some trends that we need to know about for spring of 2021 absolutely Lindsay. you know at our furniture stores we are bringing out all the faux flowers they are gorgeous all those beautiful spring colors are coming out in the pillows and the throw blankets and the rugs and everything all the accessories it is so much fun and it's so happy spring is always such a beautiful time of year and there are definitely renovation trends for this year if the pandemic has taught us anything it's how important our homes are after more than a year it's actually we've hit the anniversary right many of us are tired of looking at the same walls perhaps we're ready to upgrade our appliances to match our newly found love for cooking or just want to surround ourselves with brighter mood boosting colors whether you're gut renovating an entire home, maybe you're just upgrading a few key elements, or finally getting around to that bathroom renovation you initially planned for 2020. In this episode, I'm going to help you know the best ways to incorporate these looks into your home. Number one, color goes bold and bright for 2021. After seasons of neutrals, vibrant colors are having a moment. We all want happy right now. From bright blue kitchen backsplashes to bold black cabinetry and bright pink refrigerators. Yes, there are a few people even doing that. I know that's crazy. These are some of the most cheerful yet chic looks we've seen in a long, long time. This trend is certainly worlds away from the woodsy modern farmhouse style interiors that have dominated in recent years. However, when it comes to color, more isn't always more. I am the first to say that. Be very careful about how you use big, bold, and bright colors. If not, it starts looking like a circus. The key to incorporating color when designing any room is finding that right balance. When you do it right, color can become the new neutral base that you build off of. Let's consider introducing a navy vanity or a sage kitchen cabinet or laundry room, but keep the counter and backsplash light and neutral. If you go with a bold tile floor and then introduce interest through fixtures, hardware, and appliance finishes, you might create that perfect harmony that you're looking for. Color is definitely making such a big comeback. If you go to any tile store, I know we've all seen our grandma's pink bathroom or that harvest yellow bathroom or that very, very sky blue bathroom. You're starting to see some of that come back, which is a little alarming for some of us. Or if you own a house in Sugar House, you probably have the original pink tile with the grout. (laughs) That's all dirty now. (laughs) (laughs) So you're thinking, I want to rip that out, but it's coming updated again, right? It's always a little different, a little fresher, a little cleaner, but definitely variations of what our grandparents had, which is actually a little fun. Some of those very classic homes, those 50s and 60s homes that have that mid-century modern vibe, people are buying those, they're renovating them, putting in new windows, painting them white, painting them gray, painting them black, and they are fun, right? Um, Color is making such a big comeback. One easy way to incorporate bringing on any of these new trends is with appliances. I will tell you, I know it's I know it's bold. I know it's crazy. You will see it in the Utah Valley Parade of Homes this year. People are getting daring. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, decorating around unique colored appliances can be a little tricky, but maybe something to consider if you're thinking of updating those. 
complementing these bold pieces with more subtle finishes like modern cabinet poles and glam light fixtures can really make a kitchen feel cohesive and intentional while allowing the bolder appliances to still the show. This last year in the parade, we featured all black and gold appliances. They were very commercial, high-end appliances, but they were the talk of the town, and that was very, very fun and and very bold, right, for this client. Um, Pink appliances, green appliances, yellow appliances, blue appliances. You watch. They're not quite here yet, but they're coming. So you heard it here first on the KSL Home Show. All right, matte finishes. Lindsay, these are always classic, right? They have a contemporary look and effortless vibe. You'll see a lot of these in appliances. That galvanized metal is really hot, not only in kitchen appliances, but also in laundry rooms. People are loving those in washers and dryers. Um, Also, I think incorporating matte black cabinetry and then looking for fun color pops Add to a bathroom and a kitchen in a way that you can't get any other way, especially in warmer tones that are both soothing and unique in their tonality. Layer in matte brass light fixtures, a matte blue vanity, and a warm porcelain tile will bring this trend all together. Smart touches is all the rage right now. The pandemic has made us all more aware of the surfaces that we touch outside as well as inside our homes. So an increased interest in smart and touchless technology isn't exactly surprising. However, some people may hesitate to click add to cart because of the cost. Many smart products are affordably priced. Some are not. Touchless kitchen faucets are a great example of this. I actually have this in my kitchen and I love it. When your hands are dirty, you don't have to touch it. You just wave your hand in front of it and it turns on and it's super cool. Those with more generous budgets may want to consider purchasing smart refrigerators with family hubs, which can manage a shared calendar, compile shopping lists, and display photos, among other features. Such a cool thing. People that have these absolutely love them. Also, mixing patterns brings in a look that feels especially fresh during the spring and summer months. You can do a lot of that by even just changing the accessories in your kitchen. So how do you mix up things in a way that looks design forward yet composed? The key is to keep it simple because pattern mixing isn't about layering in as much as you can into one space. So do not just think more is more, right? Sometimes less is more simple. Big, bold statement pieces, specifically in the accessories that I'm talking about, will be fantastic. If you have a very busy floor, you probably do not want a very busy backsplash and then painted wall colors and crazy cabinets and then very, very ornate knobs, right? It's just too much. I always like to say it's like watching a play. It's great to have the lead role, and then you also need the supporting actors that help that lead carry on the story. So in relation to doing your kitchen or space, I love finding a lead tile or wallpaper and then also supporting that with finer patterns on the floor, textured light fixtures, and other wood grain finishes to make everything cohesive. The warm industrial look is next on the list. It is a huge trend. We are getting ready to go to furniture market. And so I'm being bombarded with emails and text messages. And and of course, all the, the latest and greatest trade magazines are sending all of their reports and magazines to our stores with all of the, the newest and latest and greatest trends that are coming out. Um, this trend, warm industrial, has been on the radar for a while, but just adding those concrete And those metal organic elements is very key for this year. Less is more is still, I would say, the overall theme for the year. So the industrial look is fantastic. But to prevent this look from becoming cold, it's best to use warm woods and mix in earth tones. I'm particularly loving the bronze and cement elements. Oftentimes those are coming in light fixtures And then adding those to warm wood vanities, specifically in the bathrooms, makes this trend all the rage. At Osmond Designs, we can help you, whatever your style is, whether it's traditional, modern, transitional, whatever it is in between that, 
um, we can help you make sure that your style is cohesive, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. And then whatever your price point is, we have high end, low end, lots of price points in the middle. It's all designer brands at the guaranteed best prices. Come see us at Osmond Designs. You'll find everything you're looking for and it's in stock for the most part. We do have those special order capabilities. However, there are so many back orders right now with not only the suppliers, but also the trucking companies. So if we can help you find something in stock, we're happy to do that here at Osmond Designs. We have two stores, Lehigh and Orem locations. We are open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. It is spring break. If you did not go on vacation, come see us at Osmond Designs. Yeah, and such good tips, too, on the trends coming in for 2021. I have such a hard time with... Uh, what things are going to stay classic and what things are trends. So that's where I think your expertise, Heather, could really help people out there. Uh, We'll take a break. We'll be right back on the KSL Home Show. 